doesn't the State of the Union ever get a Green Party response? You know, it should. The State of the Union should get a Green Party response, especially something like one of Bill Clinton's speeches. That should have had a Green Party response. Now, a lot of times it might not be a big deal. Like maybe this this past time, like this, the Obama speech just the other day, that wouldn't have been a big deal except for the fact that the Republicans really got two responses. <laughs> the Republicans, they got to give the regular Republican response and a Tea Party response. <laughs> Which were both pretty much Tea Party responses. You know, between uh, between Paul Ryan's uh, class baiting and uh, Michelle Bachman, you know, Michelle Bachman basically just being Michelle Bachman, you know, between those two, I mean, the Republicans basically got two responses to one speech. So that means the Greens should at least get one. But, you know, I can't give the Green Party a response because I... I can't claim to speak for the Green Party. Although I'm a registered Green, I can't claim to speak for them because they haven't authorized me to do so. And I'm sure it would be better than uh, Michelle Bachman's response. Michelle Bachman's Tea Party response for her. <laughs> now, here, here's, how, here's how Michelle Bachman acted. I couldn't even watch the whole thing because I was getting dizzy just watching it because she because she couldn't make eye contact with the camera the whole time she was like this looking over to the side and I was like getting dizzy I was like getting dizzy just trying to watch her I was like going I thought I was going to get seasick or something but um but now, Michelle Bachman, her response was basically like this. She was looking off to the side and pointing at a graph. And the whole, and, and it was like this. She stood there and, and she stands there with a big, a big toothy grin on her face the whole time. And here, here's, here's, how, here's what it was like. Her speech, Michelle Bachman, her, her uh, response was like this. And Obama is leading the way to socialism. And you know, everything to her is always socialism. Have you noticed that? She calls everything socialism. Now, Obama is leading the way to socialism by not getting rid of this health care law and by not doing anything about the gas prices. Well, have, have you done anything about the gas prices, Michelle Bachman? And has Michelle Bachman ever done anything about the gas prices? I mean, Bachman's party ran the country for, for 28 years. They didn't do a thing about the gas prices. And it's the fact that he hasn't done anything about the gas prices is socialism. So it's his fault the gas prices are... Actually, if he had done something about the gas prices, I mean, they, they would complain about that. They, you know they would call that socialism, because they always do. That's the first thing that they would call socialism. Because... Oh, wait a minute. I think the... I think the... Keep it low again. I think they just came home. But yeah, everything, Michelle Bachman, she calls everything socialism. <laughs> and do, now, do they even know what socialism is? And they try to get people to think it's the same as communism or fascism. Like that song, like that, that song about the, like that Janet Green song, <laughs> where she talks about fascism being the same as communism. She doesn't, does she even know what either one of them is? <laughs> but that's, um, 
Oh, cool, I've got some email here, and this might actually be something useful. It's about um, the polls in uh, West Virginia. Because I'm checking the I'm checking the presidential polls for for next year's election already, and uh, checking them state by state to make sure. Try to see which elections are rigged and to make sure which states are still safe. The safe areas are getting more. away from the rural states because the right-wingers are now starting to dominate the more rural areas now. I guess they go there. I guess now the rural areas have become a a retirement paradise for wealthy suburbanites who complain about socialism. But that's um This computer's still a little bit slow, so it take, takes a long time to bring up a website. But now, see, this is how Michelle Bachman acted. She was like this. And if it wasn't for something that Jimmy Carter did 32 years ago, we would have oil swooshing through the pipelines which would solve our energy crisis forever. And never mind that this oil is not even going to last forever. There's only so much oil left for, what, 30, 50 years? Now, okay, nothing interesting here. Now, how could, how could the Republicans actually be winning in West Virginia, even though they're not winning in other states? Remember, it used to be, it used to be the reverse. In 88, it was the reverse of, of what it is now. Why would the Republicans be winning West Virginia, but losing everywhere else? That's, that's a, that's a noodle scratcher. But it's really because the right-wingers have become more rural. That's the... That's what a lot of this is. But why? Why is the question. It will perplex many a political observer for decades to come. The rural right-wing trend. And this is, um... And... and these graphs that Michelle Bachman uses, they don't make any sense. She points at these graphs and she says, now look at this graph here, people. It says that the deficit has gone up under Democrats. When really, it hasn't. It was worse under Bush than it was under Clinton. I Clinton actually ran, some, ran a few surpluses, didn't he? I, th I thought he did, but um, but they, the Republicans they just make up stuff. They make up stuff, and then that's not that's that's in addition to the fact that they they got to have two two responses to the State of the Union, and the the regular response which was given by Paul Ryan that wasn't any good either. That was just. Just a bunch of class baiting and complaining about the 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 poor having it having it too easy. Which I don't get that complaint. You know, I don't get that. It's stupid. It's stupid. What what does it what does it accomplish? What and it's not based in fact. And what does it do? All of, does it really appeal to anybody? I mean, it might appeal to people who have a whole lot of money, but that's how, what percentage of the population is that? So. Good afternoon, good evening, good night, and don't let the socialism bite.